the malevolent cult Fiegel Sestimus, or the Guardians of Truth, worshippers of Palkea, the God of Destruction. In preparation for the day when all will be cleansed, the group performed horrific ceremonies and experiments in underground shrines across the globe. In 1583, which the group calls the Year of Saturn's Crimson Serpent, they were able to make contact for the first time with Palkea the Executioner. Deliver the Sword of Judgment, Soul Edge, to my altar. Only then can the purification begin. Upon hearing this revelation, High Priest Kumpetku devoted himself to the nefarious forbidden arts in order to create a golem of fearsome power. Now, Astaroth, a warrior forged by human hands for the sake of claiming Soul Edge, is nearing his awakening. Ista el tuk palgria el ku, munzia tu dadia, ela uvia astora lote. Are you certain this is a good idea, Your Grace? Do not fear. This Golem of Astaroth is embedded with a special core bestowed upon us by the Great One himself. It will bring Soul Edge to Fiegel Sestimus. He moves. Are we ready? Yes, I shall bring the Chimeras now. good physicality for a human experiment, but your mind is still crude. Even if you do obtain Soul Edge, it will enslave you. On Ares' request, I shall grant you aid this once. possess the memories of various fallen warriors. Enemies approach. Show me you can destroy all who challenge you. used to this. Just look at me go! You are a success. Your master, the war god Ares, deserves your thanks for bestowing upon you such wisdom and skill. A war god? So he is my master. Splendid. The Chimeras were swatted like flies. Do you 
see. This is what my research has brought us. I am worthy of a god. This human doesn't know his place. Should I kill him? I, the High Priest Kunpetku, ruler of Mother Earth, command you! O oh, Astaroth, claim Soul Edge and present it to Palgea the Executioner. All shall know the glory of Kunpetku and Figo Sustamus! This fool will pay for ordering me around. But for now, our objectives are the same. I'll use him to my advantage. I am ready, Kunpeku, my lord. A mission to get a sword? Talk about boring. Okay, wake up. I'm yawning too much. I need to see action. <coughs> you too, huh? Your blood must be pumping hard from keeping all those lizards in line, hmm? This is as far as you go, you pitiful drones! That opportunist Kunpetku cannot be trusted to lead the sect. County Palk, priest of Mars, has ordered the cleansing to begin. Likewise, Kelny Polk, priest of Venus, says... Silence already! I don't care about squabbles between lowly worms! of amusing. It's a shame a worm's dying scream can only be heard once. <laughs> Tell me this, Kerr. Is Ares obsessed with cleaning? Even amongst the gods, he is renowned for his cleanliness. You could learn a lot from him. However, 
You should focus on your goal. <laughs> I like this one. Straight to the point. <laughs> I shall take care of all the rubbish you collect. It should have its uses. This destruction? How dare he go so far? How dare he? There's nothing left for me to kill! We have you now, you abominations! Your evil ends here! Ares, god of war! Grant us your protection! God of war? Now you've really made me mad! You're gonna wish I just killed you! and moves remind me of yours. Not that it matters. <laughs> All right. On to Nightmare! <laughs> Kerr, you, you know, know what I'm, I'm going, going to, to say, say don't, don't you? you? Astute as ever, Astaroth, for various reasons. Those humans were also blessed with the power of your master, Ares. Hmm. Seems like even war gods have a lot on their plates. Still, it's none of my concern. As long as I get to run wild! Okay. 
You're quiet now! Impressive, Astroth, cult follower. The regular Malfested are no match for you. Nightmare, right? Tell me what you know. I shall be direct. I wish to use your power to resurrect Soul Edge. Should you agree to cooperate, you can kill as your heart desires. An attractive offer, no? What do you think, Kerr? Though he is cunning, he speaks the truth. At present, Soul Edge is at half its usual power. Ares would not be happy receiving it in such a state. Okay. I'll play your game. As a token of my gratitude, I shall bestow upon each of you a title. Astroth. You shall be Sinister Sable. Listen, man, you shall be Base Vert. What? Thanks? Don't tell me you're gonna betray Lord Kunpeku. Do not be ridiculous. We were charged with finding and claiming the sword soul. The High Priest told me to claim Soul Edge. So then, you defy me. That is the same as defying Kunpeku. <laughs> Why are you unhand me? <laughs> What the High Priest wills, Palgea wills too. So it is you who have defied our god and must die. <laughs> anyway, send the message to prepare more troops. I don't care if they're golems, lizards, or automatons. <laughs> yes, sir! It's almost time to strike. If I could just crush that brat Killick. <laughs> and Ivy. Soul Edge should get pretty full. <laughs> Are you aware that someone has taken the hidden path? Of course. They carry a similar odor to that brat. There's no point in hiding. Your stench gives you away. You smell like a rotting carcass in a ditch! Blast. I know what you're thinking. Most react the same way. He looks strong, but he's probably slow and stupid. I can't describe how good it feels to defy expectations! I admit, I am shocked. You both have a way with words and smells. <laughs> As I'm in a good mood, I'll overlook your insolence. But... You reek of one modified by human hands, the most repugnant of odors to me. I can't let Nightmare feast on rotten garbage! Battle 1. Fight! I, I shall overcome. 
in this castle, too. As long as I'm here, you're never getting through. <sighs> ah, wriggle, you worm! As long as the god of war protects me, I'm indestructible! All who defy me shall feel his divine wrath! <laughs> this day can't get any better. I'm gonna kill both Nightmare and that loathsome woman. Then I will present Ares with the fully resurrected Soul Edge. And... Once that's over, I'll... Something wrong? You appear quite rattled. Enough! It's, it's nothing. nothing. First, I'm gonna deal with Ivy. Damn it! Now my day's utterly ruined! The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history.